through funds at the Attorney General's office to put a law clinic together for human trafficking. So sharing with her gives me insight and gives the rest of my colleagues insight what's going on. You know, where is it that we need to really fill in the gaps? What's going on in taking a serious, deep look at finding a trafficking visa? So I'd love for her to speak and share her experience and, and possibly um, convince in a convincing way why we need to do Thank you, Representative Fetter. Um, and we at the Human Trafficking Law Clinic at Case Western Reserve Law School are so honored to partner with her and be involved in this project. Um, as part of our mission, we serve juvenile sex trafficking victims. And the fact that 16 and 17 year olds are still being prosecuted for prostitution related crimes has a huge impact on our ability to be able to advocate for these victims. Um, let me just tell you the first time this came up for me. Um, I had a victim who was rescued, although that's only part of the story, um, from a hotel along with four other victims who were 14 to 16 years old. She was 16 years old. Um, they had a pimp who was there with, him, uh, with them and was pimping the five of them out out of one hotel room and they were all arrested. Um, she was then charged with a drug charge and then also with solicitation. And it was the first time this happened to me, this was a few years ago, and I said to the prosecutor, how can you charge a 16 year old with prostitution? Clearly she was being victimized, this 30 year old pimp was selling her out of a hotel room on a Monday night. It, it just horrified me that he was charging her as a criminal when she was clearly a victim. And I was trying to get her services and was trying to work with her and explain to her that you're a victim, you have these opportunities to take advantage of services, while at the same time, I had to explain to her that she had a charge for solicitation on her record. And it's very difficult to try to explain that to my victims. Um, and the prosecutor said, show me somewhere in Ohio law that says that I can't charge her. Um, if you look at federal law, it says that you can't charge her, but in Ohio law, there's nothing that says that he can't charge her. So I did, like all my other cases, and I filed a lot of briefs and kind of weighed him down with paper and he ended up dismissing the charge, um, but it still is a big issue. I have other clients who have been out of the light for years and will tell me stories about how they get arrested hundreds of times before the time they were 18, and it, it actually horrifies me especially as Representative Vetter has mentioned many times, under federal law, they are unequivocally a victim. So why under Ohio law don't we give them that same recognition? The other thing that baffles me is, as Representative Vetter mentioned, and she was the key legislator under both of these advances, both in 2012 and 2014, we have passed a lot of advances <coughs> for minors, including if a John now hires a minor, to engage in sex with him. There are now way higher penalties, even if it's a 16 or 17 year old, it's now a felony. If you compel prostitution, it's a felony of the first degree. Um, if you're soliciting prostitution, it's a felony of the fifth degree for a 16 or 17 year old. So why are we saying that a 16 or 17 year old girl is also a criminal when clearly we are going out of our way now to punish the person who is sleeping with a 16 or 17 year old? Finally, my point that I always make is 16 and 17 year olds can't vote in the state, they can't walk into a bar, they can't walk into a strip club, they can't buy liquor, they can't enter into a contract when you talk about entering into a commercial sex, but yet we're saying that we can charge them with prostitution. It really defies logic. So I think that we need to get back with what actually is comports with our laws, our other laws, and also with federal law, and realize that those who are buying sex with people who are 16 or 17, anyone who is a minor, what they're doing, as Representative Fetter said yesterday, is buying rape. That's what they're doing. Um, and those who are exploited, these children who are exploited, they're not prostitutes, they're victims. Thank you.